Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology forecast or message for the week between the 17th and the 24th of March 2018. So, we begin this week still under the influence of the square between Mars and Chiron. Not an easy square to deal with. Uh, we saw the parting of uh, Stephen Hawking, a great stellar physicist who moved on from this earth as the square was at its height on his MC and ascendant locking on those points in his chart so what is that square between Mars and Chiron that we're still filling in the sky well basically Chiron is the places that we're wounded in places that we know very well because these wounds are old these wounds are nothing new these are the wounds we are carrying with us from almost the time that we can remember ourselves there are personal wounds there's something very intimate and personal regarding those wounds and mars of course is the male attribute energy within each and every one of us in charge of our um entrepreneurship our forward movement both our shield and our sword our defensive ability and our combative ability mars is our own self-identity our wants and needs and cravings and certainly how we um walk towards our goals so when that planet and of course we're talking about the god of war okay and the wounded healer are in a struggling position together it's a time that we could be our own worst enemies it's a time that we can hurt ourselves it's a time that because we're feeling the pain more acutely we're turning into the more animalistic and um, limbical system to gratify and satisfy our means so we can do it through food we can do it through sex and sensuality, we can do it through drinks, through drinks or through sports or through physical activity or through uh, creativity. Mars is a lot about creativity and by creating we can diffuse some of these energies. So I want you to really be aware where uh, you stop being your best friend and start being your adversary. Where there are patterns that are now more apparent than ever that are actually harmful in the long run, both for you and for people around you. And we can see that in people around us as well. It's a very sensitive time. And it's a time that can throw people off balance. So, it's, an, it's, it's also a time that can create a lot of inflammation, okay? Both metaphorically and physically. So treat yourself better, pamper yourself, eat healthy food, drink enough water uh, sleep well treat that system well enough because our system is more sensitive at this time both the emotional and physical system on saturday the 17th we have a new moon and 26 degrees of pisces conjunct chiron square mars really fueling all that square with the moon the new moon giving it a taste that would stay here and linger for the next lunar cycle so this is something that is imprinted and stays with us for the next 28 and a half or 29 and a half days this is a new moon trying jupiter as well and that's the light coming in because it talks about our expansion of knowledge and wisdom through that struggle through that encounter with our own old pain through that forward movement that came as a result of that acknowledgement. So this is a great time for expansion as well, for deepening our understandings, both regarding ourselves, regarding our lives, regarding our pains, regarding our troubles, and regarding the action that is needed to change all of that situation. Um, Mars enter, enters Capricorn on the 17th, all our actions become much more responsible and in a way we are able to discern how our actions affect 
the people around us better. We become more adult about things. Sunday, the 18th, the moon is in Aries, squaring Saturn, especially in noontime. It's a time that we can be very judgmental. It's a time that we can take extra responsibilities on our shoulders and push them through. But we have to be careful not to be too much of a hard ass. We have to be careful not to be too strict with ourselves or with other people around us. But the evening is, you know, um, supposed to be a nice evening. We have Venus conjunct Mercury on that day. It could be a social time. It could be a time of enjoying our... And, and, and we have this all through the week, this conjunction, but it's at its height in the evening of the 18th. It's a time that there's a lot of conversations within relationships and a lot of thoughts around how we satisfy ourselves in our life, how we bring in money in our life, uh, what kind of relationships we have in our life. There's a lot of thoughts going around all of these subjects. And it, it, it could be a great time for business deals as well if that conjunction sits well in your natal chart. Monday, the 19th, the moon is still in Aries, squaring Pluto, especially in noon time, don't, along the day, don't be too dramatic, don't be caught up in the moment, uh, be passionate about things, but don't be too intense. The, the, that day is a, a really an impatient day, as the moon will conjunct Uranus a little later on. <clears throat> the 20th, Tuesday, is the vernal equinox in the northern hemisphere, the autumnal equinox in the southern hemisphere. It's the day that the day and night are almost equal around the world and if we would be standing in the equator, the sun would be exactly above our head. It's a very energetic day and it's a great day to start new projects, start new things, start new affairs. Um, and create a forward movement that can actually be propelled as spring progresses. The day starts with a moon in Taurus, trine Mars, so much energy and, 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 and a bit of fun too. And Mercury conjunct Venus. Um, ooh, what? Moon in Taurus, trine Mars, Mercury conjunct Venus and the moon trine Saturn. So I just found out a mistake. It's not a big mistake. The exact conjunction of of uh, of uh, Venus and Mercury is on the 20th. On the 18th, the Moon is conjunct Venus and Mercury. That's why I said it's going to be a great evening. Um, but the the conjunction is on the 20th. So we have Moon in Taurus, uh, trine Mars, Mercury conjunct Venus, and Moon trine Saturn all on that day of the vernal equinox as the sun goes into Aries. Happy birthday all you Arises. So it's a great day to plant seeds that can prove their worth over time. It's a great day to start something that has a strategic fashion or a strategic attribute. Wednesday, the 21st, still a very energetic day, but the energy is a bit more frustrating, a bit more agitating. We have to watch out for overreaching on this day from extravagance or indulgence. Practice altruism on the 21st. It's a good day to look inside for your strength and support, not outside. Thursday, the 22nd, Mercury starts its retrograde for almost three weeks. We've been feeling the uh, malfunctions in communications already over the past few days with that square to Saturn, wasn't helping. And a Mercury retrograde is not a time to stop breathing or stop to do anything in your life. It's just a time to check things a little more deeper, to see all the fine print, to allow yourself to see things from a different viewpoint, to think differently, not to stop breathing. Friday the 23rd, we have the moon in Gemini, Gemini uh, squaring Neptune in the morning. Could be a scattered morning, could be a forgetful morning. Hard to focus in that morning. Don't be too uh, agitated with yourself if you're uh, a bit forgetful and scattered. But a very nice evening with the moon sextile 
Venus and Mercury. Great time to go out or meet people on Friday night. Saturday the 24th, we very sensitive day. A bit of a hangover day actually. Venus square Pluto at its height. We've been feeling this square all through the week and this is a square that challenges our relationship, challenges the way we satisfy ourselves, challenges the way we draw in income, challenges the way we uh, react towards ourselves and, and value ourselves. It's a great time to take a, a deeper uh, look at things, to have a better understanding of what makes us tick. Just don't dig in too much, don't be too intense, don't be too dramatic, don't be too total. Know when the fine line between, um, you know, um, a psychological examination that is healthy for you and developmental transformational for you and and when you pass that line into something that is self-afflicting something that is already creating a new wound because it keeps on digging in and not letting go so we have the we have Venus squaring Pluto we have the moon in cancer very sensitive opposing Mars watch aggression both from yourselves and others on that day and the Sun squaring Mars on that day so really a day that we could be agitated very quickly and and we need to watch our temper on Saturday the 24th this is about everything I had to say I want to thank you for sharing these videos I want to thank you for commenting and liking them because they expose these videos to more people and of course for private lessons ah we're looking for one more person for our beginners English group if you want to study with me weekly through your smartphone or your computer we need one more person for the group English speaking group for beginners in evolutionary astrology contact me for the full details and of course for private lessons or readings contact me as well I want to bless you and I want to wish you a great vernal equinox or autumnal equinox wherever you are. May this be a wonderful week for you. This is Boaz Fighter signing out.